throw on my diving suit. I jump in the bathosphere. I take the dangerous ride to our underwater office, and it never fails. I find boxes of donations from you guys. It's the coolest thing ever that you guys send us all this crap. But honestly, like, I'm always perplexed as to where you get some of this stuff. And why. Case in point, our good pal Benjamin from New York just sent us a whole freaking box of games. And sure, you know, there was Defender 2, there was Slalom, there were the games we can all say we're at least familiar with, right? And then there was... there was this. The game no one here at CGR Undertow had ever heard of. In fact, we couldn't even read its name. Looks like some kind of alien thrash band from Kepler 10B. Nonetheless, we soon learned a lot about the game. It's called Sea Cross, or Say Cross. We're not sure how to actually say it. Frankly, we're not sure how to actually play it. It's like if you mix Excite Bike with Tron, F Zero, and uh, in bumper cars. I mean, that's pretty much the concept at work here. That's Sea Cross. Say Cross. I bet Kepler 10B has a rockin' thrash scene. So you play as some guy on a hovering moped. He's racing on this green grid or something. There are a bunch of these bad guys trying to ram him into dinosaur skeletons. Plus, dude has a real thing for the Blue Man group, because meanwhile you're rescuing every god member and shooting lasers. Where do you guys find this stuff? So, Excite Bike, because. Uh, duh. And F-Zero because, you know, hovering in the future. But the bumper car thing is also a central element to see cross Because you either blast these fools, or you bump them into crap. Of course, doing so drains the energy of your ship, but you can pick up more all over the track. It's a fun mechanic that really gives the game a unique feel. There are three areas to drive through, and frankly, it's hard as balls to do so. This game's not easy, as you might expect from its relative obscurity, and... Keplerian logo. Nonetheless, it's still an interesting game. If you're into the futuristic style of the 1980s, uh, action racers, or I guess Blue Man Group, Seacross is a game for you, even if you've never heard of it. <laughs> 